What's up guys, Goro here and welcome back to another episode of the Road to Glory. Today we are back with our red picks from Foot Champs. We also have quite a lot of packs to open. Plus we're going to be getting Team Di Ronaldo. Plus there's so many other things that we just do as a day to day. It's going to be a normal video. So hopefully uh, we can pack a Team of the Year today. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Like the video if you are enjoying. Yesterday we had two videos up to go through as many packs. Um, one to how to grind the game and one just in terms of generic actual account dealings and objectives, SPCs to complete, all of that stuff. So today we're starting this, as you can tell, on yesterday night. What day even is it? It's Saturday today for me. You're watching this on Sunday. Um, the reason we're doing this is because, as you can see, the FIFA points have gone up. Now, the reason being is I went over to the FIFA point section and added on 1,600 FIFA points. Um, instead of just doing the 1,050, which, again, there's a difference of about £4 for me. I'm in a fortunate position. I'll just go, right, okay, doesn't really matter for me. I'll add on the extra 550. We'll do two drafts with it. That's absolutely fine. But what it will mean is the points that we got from Razor in his giveaway... We're going to put them to use in 225k packs. I've been waiting to do this for a while. Um, I've been waiting for as many special cards to be in. We have a 1.7% chance of packing a team of the year. We have a 42% chance of a team of the week. And we have an 11% chance of an honourable mention. This is our best pack available to be able to get one. The only other one that's close to this is the 86 plus star pack. Um, but in terms of actual like fief point value and coin value for me we'll already get three 25k packs out of this from the league spcs so we're going to get six of the 25k packs which we can then recycle into whatever if we were going to be efficient with that we'd be doing these we'd be doing the premium gold upgrades and um, purely just down to the fact that we'd be able to get more for our fief points be able to add numerous amount of hundreds of cards into the club but we're not going to be doing that so that doesn't matter we are just going to open two of these packs. Now, I think this is probably some of the first FIFA points we spent. I think we've done a 12k FIFA point at the start of the year just to fill the club with a load of gold cards to help us out, which I'm absolutely fine doing. We probably added on a 600 FIFA point here and there just to do a draft here and there, which again, I'm absolutely fine with. So we've probably spent no more than, I'm going to say, 13k FIFA points, maybe 14k. Obviously, 4,600 we won. We've already done two drafts. I've now gone and added on a few more. So there's no more than 20,000 FIFA points being spent. In terms of, is that realistic? Yes, it's realistic because you could get given for your birthday gift cards to go and spend on Xbox. And then, yeah, you could go and spend 12k FIFA points. And then over the year, you go, right, I've got a bit of money. I'm going to add this on here and there. This is actually a road to glory that's not no FIFA points. It is going to be FIFA point related. However, it's trying to spend at a minimum. This time last year, we had already spent probably best part of 70 or 80k FIFA points. Obviously, we did 50k at the start, and then we've got to this point. So, hopefully, sadly, it probably will be the case. The place where we spend money is where we'll get a team of the year. But I don't care. I just want this to be blue yay. So, can it be? It's not. It is a big walkout. It's going to be an English left winger. It's Raheem Sterling. That's not bad. Can we please have something of an 87s, 86s, 85s in behind this? Because we need fodder right now. We'll go through it in a minute. An 86, an 85, two 84s, and probably a lot of 84s and 83s. Obviously, we did the 83 times 25 pack yesterday. Um, I mean, I'd ruin it, but to be honest, we got absolutely nout in it, so it's not really ruining getting nothing. So that's fine. Um, overall, not amazing. But, again, it could be worse. So for the second one, we have a 10% chance of a blue. We have more than a 10% chance of a blue, actually. actually. But the second 125k pack, it isn't going to be the only 125k's we open. We have plenty of them left to go through. But, please, EA, why do you have to punish me? <laughs> We've got Riyad Mahrez. This, okay... For me, I'm happy to do this. One, because it's not really my FIFA points. It was what I won from a giveaway. But this proves, do not spend money on this game because it is absolutely not worth it. 286s and 84, 383s, and then another 283s there. So 583s altogether. 
this was horrendous. Genuinely, one of the worst packs we've had. Now, again, as I said, we're going to be able to get a few upgrade packs out of it. We're going to be able to fill the club with a bit more fodder, which means that we can get a few more SPCs done. Um, because I was kind of wanting to do the packs first, just in case the lightning round ran out. We've got 45,000 left, so we'd be absolutely fine. But I've been looking at Kenny Dagleach, and obviously, yes, we're doing him. That doesn't matter. We'll get around to doing them. However, looking at what we have in the club, I've built an 87 and an 85 rated team. So the 85 rated team's got Mane in it with two, was it one? 186, 187, and the rest 83s with 184. This just means that we get rid of a lot of the untradeables that we got from the 83 times 25. Absolutely fine with that. The 87 is pretty much using up everything else that we have. Um, Red Hand Danovic, which again, I've not got an issue using because... Red picks, he's not really going to go into the team. We have um, Minan, which works well. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. I just call it him Minan because it's funny. I don't know what I've got into me, but we've got two League and Player of the Month there. We've got Mastrovi, which we don't use. Ozyman doesn't go into the Serie A team. We've got um, Dragovic, Blakovic, whatever his name is, something itch, the Serbian guy. He's going to go in. We'll probably have an 83 rated duplicate along the way that we can throw into his player of the month or if the inform becomes a duplicate. That's fine. Whatever we get from the packs, he'll be completed and then just goes into an 87 rated team. But that is all that we have, which means that we have an 86, an 87, an 88 and an 89 rated team left to complete just to get Daglish done. Now, there's 23 days left. With all the packs that we get, there is no way we don't complete him. However... We have 28 days left on Varane, so it gives us four weeks to grind Varane. For me, that's not impossible. With the promos that we've got coming up, we've obviously got Team of the Year now. It is known that we're going to get Future Stars. Future Stars always comes out after Team of the Year. Um, there's been a few things leaked around it, but we know what we're getting. Predictions are coming out, so I'm really enjoying seeing people's predictions of who we could get. For me, I want Harvey Elliott. That would be the most perfect pa person. Harvey Elliott... Or even Nico Williams. One of them two would be perfect. We'll see if we get them. But, again, we've got Varane to grind. So we still got, on top of what we got left of Daglish, an 85, two 86s, two 87s, and an 88. It's not too bad because of the informs. We've got Digne, which we got yesterday. And we've got Immobile, which we got from Team of the Week pack last week from um, Weekend League Rewards. Hopefully, we've got another Team of the Week pack coming this week. So we'll see what we get. But once we've got Varane and Daglish, we should be fine. It's just in case EA release anything else. If they were to release, I don't know. I mean, they released Kaiser today. He looks fantastic, and I would love to have him in the first owner Serie A team. But I can't do him because it's an 85 and 86 rated team. And I don't have that facility and capacity to get him done. So it's frustrating, but it is what it is. Um, obviously, I said at the start of the video, we'll get Ronaldo done. We've got five co-op games left to play. I'll get around to doing that at some point. We've also got squad battles to do for the final token to get the 82 times 25. Again, with the way that our 83 times 25 was, I don't really want to open it, to be honest, because I know how poor it's going to be. But it will be worth opening. We will get round to doing it. Um, and so I want to pack a team of the year. I want to pack an honourable mention. I don't care what it takes. I want to get one. First owner. In the team, they're going to stay there. That's absolutely fine. Now, the thing is, I know that the honourable mentions Luke Shaw that we have right now, he's going to stay in the team for quite a while. The reason being is because he's a very, very good card. 283s there are very nice, so that's going to help us for grinding, hopefully, a lot of the SBCs. Um, oh, rare gold packs are starting to come through, which is good, because I want to try and get rid of as many of these. We probably have about 10 or 15 of these, and I do want to get through them all. Boards is nice starting. Um, as I was saying, I can't remember what I was saying, which is slightly worrying. About getting to play into the team. Luke Shaw, he's going to stay in the team. Main reason being, he's a good end game card. He's going to strongly link to Varane. He's got links in the Premier League. All of what he offers is perfect. He's probably our left back, best left back in the club. So because of that, he's going to stay in the team for a while until we get a big sort of card that can go in instead. And so I want an honourable mentions to do the exact same thing, like a Bruno Fernandes, like a Phil Foden, like a Rudiger can go into centre-back. I don't care who we get. I would just love to pack one. So we'll see what happens. Um, Felipe, I will go and 
deal with him. We'll be right back. Okay then, so Felipe is going to go into the 85 rated team for Daglish. We need a Liverpool player. That's going to be Sadio Mane. Because of Diaz coming to Liverpool, hopefully his headline is called. We'll get the upgrade for a Liverpool card. And so with that, we'd probably go and pick him up for 100k or whatever he is. And he'd go into the team. So in terms of what we're getting rid of, um, untradeable, 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 untradeable. Tradable, Marcus Asensio, but that's fine. Um, we've got a few of him, Isco, and then a Cramerich, but we've got one of him on the trade pile. So that's absolutely fine. Bang on 70 can we get a small rare gold player pack back, which again, is a pretty decent pack. So I've got no issues with getting that back for an 85 rated team. Um, and what it will mean is we can carry on opening and we are going to go through all these rare golds. Now, I was going to open 50k packs, but I'm actually quite glad these have shown up because I was looking on the web app We've got quite a lot that we can get through. Um, boards coming in is very, very nice. And that's not a bad 25k pack. An 85 rated, an 84 rated. Anchor and Hunters are very, very nice. Plus on top of that, a draft token. That's actually a really, really good pack. I'll give it to EA. That's probably... <laughs> that might be better than the 25k packs we've opened. An 84, an 85... Two big chem styles and a draft token. So we've got three drafts left to go. Maybe at some point this week, we'll just do a draft as a random one-off video. Um, I'd like to get that done at some point, so that'd be good. Arthur, again, very, very nice. Marcelo, is he tradable? He is, even better. Hawk and Anchor again. These 25k packs are actually really good for trying to... See, I thought this would happen. Um, for trying to get a load of consumables back into the club. The only issue is I think we've all got untradeable ones there. We've got plenty of tradable ones from, I think it's mainly weekend league qualification and weekend league rewards. So we'll see what happens there. Um, Raul Jimenez, not too bad. We did get rid of him in an SBC at some point, I think. Um, no, we haven't. So we've got an 83 rated to deal with. I'm going to go and deal with him. I'm also going to go and play weekend league. We're currently six and... Hmm. What are we? Six and six? Yeah. So hopefully we'll get three more wins out of the eight games. Maybe we'll get five. We'll see what happens. Let's go hop into red picks. All right then, guys. So as I said, we've got weekend league rewards. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, first of all, if you don't, link down below. Go and follow me. Um, everything up to date there for what we're doing on the account. If we pack anything random that doesn't get involved in the video, personal takes on SBCs, personal takes on IRL, um, Football stuff, IRL, FIFA stuff. There's plenty to get through. Main one being Diaz today. He signed for Liverpool for me. That's absolutely fantastic. Love seeing that. So, again, go and follow that. But I did tweet out, we have had our best foot champs run. We finish 11-7 and seven in weekend league. And I genuinely couldn't be happier. We were at a point where yesterday, I think we were 6-4. and four, um, Which, again, more than happy with. 6-4 and four is really, really good. Thought three more wins, dead easy to do. Could even push 11 wins. We'll see what happens. I had to go 5-5. Five and five. Again, dead easy to do. We then lost two games last night. And because of that, we had eight games left to win three. Thought, do you know what? Dead easy. We can get that done. Instead, this morning, I went 5-1. and one. So much so that we have two games left. Now, we can't reach the next rank, which I think would give us, instead of a 50k pack, it's like a 100k pack and an extra 20k coins. Realistically, doesn't really make that much of a difference. So because of that, we may as well give away wins. We could go and finish 13-7. and seven, That'd be fine. This guy has an incredible team. Um, clearly, his team of the year pack look is involved. And as I said in my tweet, we did not use a single team of the year card in this. Now, because of that, it makes it feel a little bit better for me. The only player that we had was Luke Shaw. And, you know, Luke Shaw isn't a forward that's going to make a big difference. He's not one of them cards that will win you games defensively though he is fantastic his body type is very much like Teo Hernandez he's very quick on the ball his pace does sort of match what he is um, we've chucked an anchor on him and he feels fantastic Pele at Cam I love him genuinely scores so many goals has assisted so many goals got in the right positions to win the ball back or he's always in the right position to then lay off a ball into Pato who then can lay off the ball into Ronaldo stuff like that I genuinely love that card. So, because of that, it meant that we can give away two wins, um, which, again, just helps out the community a little bit more. And so, what it will mean, more importantly, as long as this guy could celebrate, 
there we go it will mean that we finish technically 11 and 9 because we have to give away two wins however because we gave away two wins we get this now for me the i was on 10 wins i had three games left i actually went into a game and it was a full bronze team with zero chem as soon as i saw that i thought two things can happen here one i can qualify two this guy's going to really annoy me and just quit it nil nil very very possible but that didn't happen so we have three red picks this is the first time ever we've had more than two red picks in a week and um, we also get a team of the week pack 50k and an ultimate pack we're going to open them ultimate packs and the 50k just to see what we get see what foot champs reward is all together we're ready to qualify for next week so i might try and get some of that done today um i think the team of the week pack is the thing that we're going to save more importantly because the team of the week's not the best right now so again we'll see what happens but the fact that we've got three red picks and they're all one of five i genuinely couldn't be happier right now so yes there's not a good team of the week however a kimmich and a kanji something usable for a first owner team will be very nice and i'm going to be honest we've already got that this 84 rated goalkeeper yes to most people he's fodder however for me he's going to go into the la liga team we don't have a goalkeeper we've not packed uh, to Stegen, um numbers up card we've not had I'm trying to think if there's been any other special cards we've not had any informs anyway so that's a good start i would just love to get Kimmich from these if we can we're not we'll take bergvine just because why not i guess anything high rated for fodder in this last one can it be good zh isn't bad do you know what it's not an amazing set of rewards. However, Ziyech is SBC fodder, so is Bergvine. Plus, we also get a first owner player for the La Liga team. Perfect. Genuinely perfect. Now, can we top this off? And can we go and pack a team of the year? If we can, I am going to be rather happy. So, we've got a 50k pack. Um, sadly, it's only the untradeable one shown right now. Same with the ultimate pack. So, we'll go with the 50k first. It's a guaranteed player of 83+. plus. It's not the exact 50k pack from Weekend League Rewards, but can it be something good? It just sums up me luck. And obviously not. It's not going to be good. Angelino's all right. Um, do you get an inform behind as well? That's not too bad. The only issue we're going to have right now is probably a lot of untradeable duplicates, which does seem to be the case because only what one of these, two of these are tradable. Let me go and build a pack. We'll go and open 125k pack. Okay then, so we've gone and done a 25k pack uh, for the Premier League. Again, we'll get around to these at some point. But before we hop into 6pm content, our ultimate pack from Weekend League, I'm going to go ahead and do the... Um, what will we do? We'll probably do co-op for Ronaldo, get him complete for 6pm. Probably get a few SBCs done. Maybe try and get up to like 100 good packs again. Again, the fact that we can do this right now, we've got 120k left. We're in a good place, so 125k pack. Please, can we just see blue? We can't. It's just a normal walkout. It's going to be immobile, which isn't bad. Again, decent SBC fodder, but it's 125k pack. We've done three of these now today, and we still have not got anything good. Again, a few duplicates to deal with, so this is probably going to go into at least 125k pack, and maybe an SBC segment for one of the players we'll see um let's go hop into 6 p.m content so then guys hopping into 6 p.m content now we're going to keep this short and sweet I don't want to take this video on for too much longer because it's already gone on long enough so if you're still watching uh, thank you uh 6 p.m content tonight hopefully it's going to be something half decent I'm not really too sure what to expect in terms of getting new objectives we're only going to be getting them in milestones mainly because obviously the season ends in a few days so Again, no surprise that we've hardly got anything left. I might get around to doing this guy at some point. Um, just right now, we don't really need anything for a league and midfielder. So we're kind of leaving that out. Um, I've gone through and done Patrick Schick. Um, just because obviously we had the 83 rated Serby um, and Pickford. So both of them have gone into this. Um, meant we sold on R Schick. That's absolutely fine. Plus, I went through and saw what um, consumables were going for a higher price. So again, we'll see that. But... Future, wow, okay, so Future Stars is already starting, weird, weird this, I don't know why, but Future Stars swaps is here, progress towards signing your first Future Stars player during Team of the Year ahead of the launch on Friday, 
From now until the end of the upcoming Future Stars campaign, you'll be able to earn up to 28 Future Star tokens. Players can earn Future Star swaps tokens across various SPCs, objectives, and more. Um, you can swap Future Star tokens for your rewards start on February the 11th. So we've still got 11 days till we get the rewards. And we already have our first token. These were leaked. Um, I'll be honest. I saw these were leaked and I was quite disappointed. But I guess we're going to see what we can start earning. Um, it did seem to be that there was a Gallagher card there. And I think there was maybe it was Dan Juma. Um, I'm not 100% sure who else was there. But again, we'll see what happens. Hopefully we get some daily SPCs because of it. Um, not really too sure. We've got for today's content nothing. Maybe have we really got nothing for today's content? Either I've missed something very, very big, or we've got absolutely nothing. And either way, I wouldn't be shocked. Um, if we go to live, there doesn't seem to be a daily SBC, um, which is a little bit weird. We've got, ah, a mid-icon upgrade repeatable. So this is for a pack. In terms of what we get, an 84, an 85, ooh, an 84, two 85s, and an 86. Maybe, I'm going to say this, maybe we will do one of them. The reason being that we might do one of them is purely down for the fact that they are fairly cheap to do. Considering right now, when it comes to all the other um, icon swaps and stuff, um, and all the other icon SPCs, they're a lot more expensive. So we might get one done. I'm not going to say we are. I'm not going to say we're not. We'll see what happens. Um, packs today, we've still got 50k lightning rounds as per usual. and They keep selling out. So no surprise there. Um, doesn't look to be anything too new in the bundles. So that's absolutely fine. So we're going to finish off on a big pack because we need to start opening them. And we need to get something good eventually. Um, but yeah, Future Stars, I guess, is coming. Hopefully we'll get an idea of what's coming with the two new cards. In terms of maybe it will be released on Twitter, hopefully nobody's like leaked like the card stats. Um, we also got Maldini SBC. I forgot that was also leaked, um, but I've not actually got around to doing that, so I do apologise. Um, but I will probably show that off tomorrow. Um, it's the Dutch guy from Leverkusen is the one who's got there. Um, in terms of Maldini, he's there for 27 days. Might be well priced. Don't really know. Um, we will have to see. But to finish off today's video... 125k pack we'll be back tomorrow with plenty of packs to open and then obviously sbcs <laughs> and then 125k pack our best rating is an 85 rated that is very very poor absolutely nothing in behind that's worth speaking about so yeah that's where we're gonna leave it for today guys i'm out peace